Hey there, Daryl Olson from the Jackson Fishing Team and uh, prepping for my trip up to New Hampshire and maybe take a day and go to the Rangeley Lake area. Um, I'm uh, my third fly for this series for, for my possible main trip will be uh, the Cardinal, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, streamer. It's a marabou type streamer. Um, not sure who the creator was, but I, I did read that there was a Bill Shiba from Massachusetts that showed this fly to a, a fellow uh, Massachusetts or whatever you call those folks, uh, Paul Kukukin or something like that in the 60s. And uh, Paul had used this fly pretty much exclusively from my understanding in his films on fishing and hunting and uh, which ended up popularizing this fly to more than uh, I guess 25,000 anglers a year when he was doing his shows or his films. According to what I read, Paul's caught uh, trout, landlocked salmon, smallmouth, largemouth, walleye, stripers, blues, you know, you probably name it, it's, it's a very versatile fly. It sounds like kind of like the Clouser, the Crelex, you know, it, it falls in that category. It depends on the size of hook that you're tying it on. And uh, I haven't found a limit on what size. I'm, in, I'm assuming that, you know, big blues, um, pike, you know, you're tying that on a pretty big hook on there. But uh, what I'm going to be tying is... Uh, on a, on a small streamer hook a size 6 and I'm going to tie it on a 6XL a little bit longer I mean that seems to be a, a traditional length or maybe even longer if you can find them uh, streamer hooks for the Rangeley area so uh, why don't we go ahead and I'll show you what that fly looks like and we'll start tying it alright well I can't seem to get the lights adjusted quite right to show the colors off I'm guessing. I don't know why, but we're going to continue anyway. Um, this here is the, the Cardinal. The, the little hackle is uh, yellow. This is supposed to be hot pink. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, the bottom is um, fluorescent orange, the body. And there's some, uh, that little flash right in there, that, that is that floral fiber. Uh, I suppose you can use any type of flash if you want, but uh, why don't we go ahead and get time and uh, apologize for uh, the fly. I have to work on my lighting, I guess, on other flies. I wasn't expecting that. So we're going to tie this on a uh, TMC 300 and a size 6. And that happens to be a 6XL long, a heavy wire. And we're going to go ahead and we'll debarb. And we'll put that in the device now. thread I'm going to use is a 6 aught in fluorescent orange and we'll start that about 2 eye whisk back and there's no tail on here as you notice so it's all all a wing and we'll take this back to the point or the barb of the hook And we could just tie it, tie our wool yarn back here, but I'm going to tie it up up front again um, to help keep the body smooth.
and so that way it doesn't have any bumps or big huge bumps anyway and we'll try to keep that on top of the hook trim off some of this that's right off there and we're gonna instead of cutting and telling you what the length is I just use the whole thing and just wrap going forward that way I'm not wasting so much material on there so and the fuzziness of the yarn also gives it a buggy appearance lock it in and we'll trim this off. On there. And then I kind of build a slope here. On there. Next we're going to use is some of this uh, floral fibers. We're not going to get much. It's pretty thin stuff. You know, I don't know. I'm not going to count them, but you know, about like that many right there. I'm going to wet it so it's easier to manage. And then I'm just going to tie that in right on top. These fibers aren't very long. Or the shanks are anyway. And we'll trim that off. Next I'm going to do is uh, take some uh, pink um, marabou find a nice fluffy one and I'm going to kind of spread it out a little bit And I'm going to trim that little bit off because I don't need the, the whole thing. And I can use some of that for the next one. And then I'm going to wet it down so it's easy to manage. And it's just going to go back, just past, barely past the... the bend of the hook. And I'm going to kind of trim this off. So it's got a somewhat of an angle to give me a more of a tapered head. And uh, kind of smooth that out. We still have a hackle to put on there. And then I'm going to just trim those fibers about equal or maybe a little past. Who, who knows? Um, from there. 
Next we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a, a five, hackle fiber in yellow and uh, he used what they he considered long. I'm not sure really what that means but I'm, I'm assuming that as long as the the hackles go at least go into the point of the hook um, you'll be all right but you know it's about looks like about right trim off a little triangle here so I got a little triangle to tie in And then uh, we're going to give it several wraps and several for me that's like maybe three, three and a half. We're going to fold these fibers back. While we wrap, three we'll stop it right there kind of break this up a little bit trim off that excess Clean up the head a little bit. <coughs> Do a whip finish. Snip off our thread. Add a little head cement. I go upside down, at least maybe the hook bend will prevent some of that from going in. There you have it, a uh, cardinal fly. I might tie some of these up in a, I don't know, maybe a size four for some smallmouth or bass. Give that a try. It looks like a pretty good pattern. Anyway. There you have it, the, the Cardinal. It uh, seems to be a pretty quick and easy tie. Um, I believe uh, the pattern I tied was the one that Paul changed on, on the pattern for when he was using it. Um, I believe the original one didn't use the floral fibers that, I, that you put in or any flash type thing. It was just the wool body and uh, the marabou and the hackle. But uh, give it a try. Tie it in other colors, maybe even hot orange. Who knows? Anyway, maybe even white. Then the white would look kind of very similar to uh, that uh, fox hole special.
you know I mean it's pretty much related pretty 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 close to that isn't it anyway we'll uh, we'll see on uh, see on the water and hope you have a great tie and catch some fish with this fly all right bye